hey guys welcome back to unboss hobbies so by the end of this video we'll be creating uh, email confirmation um, implementation and that will allow us to verify the user email so if you look at here I have entered the details upon registration we'll be receiving an email from the application and uh, with the link to confirm the email address so here it is loading it's to, it is sending an email to the user account so upon here you can look at here reload see here I have received an email so after this it has included the email um, the link that uh, can be used to confirm the email address upon clicking this so if you look at here we'll be uh, implementing this uh, whole stuff in the video let's move into the video let's go through the flow we have two parts that needs to be done one is generating the token and then sending out an email another is consuming the same token again and confirming that it is valid and updating the user the email has been verified for that we'll be uh, generating a token uh, inside our registration process once the user details is stored we'll be generating a token and storing into db with respect to the user record and then we'll be sending out a link which contains the secure token we'll be using java mail sender api and we'll look into that in while well, implementation and here at the time of confirmation we'll be fetching the token which will be uh, embedded inside the url we'll be checking against the database whether the token is exist if the token exists then we'll mark that the email has been verified inside the user record and we'll be deleting the token in sending the successful response if the token does not exist then we'll be uh, sending out an exception let's move into the implementation part so here's the application so i have uh, included uh, a model object here which contains the token and when it is created and the user object right so this will help us to identify the token this is um, is generated for the user and with, uh, we can uh, able to update the user record the email has been verified or not and uh, the repository has two methods one to find the token and one to delete the token let me go to the user uh, service AMPL where the registration happens. Once the user details is stored, we need to create the secure token and send an email. So for this, I'm going to create, uh, I've created uh, two methods in our interface. One is to send registration confirmation email and one is to verify user. So first we'll implement the send registration confirmation email, which is responsible to generate the token. So let's uh, generate generate the token and send email for the token generation so we are going to use the key generator from the spring security with uh, 15 bytes so we look at here so it is using other uh, 15 bytes token generator so and it's it will generate as 15 bytes secure random um, key for us and we will be using that with uh, the char default character set uh, as ASCII or uh, US ASCII and uh, let me go here and create the token we'll use p 64 from commons dot that's going to be url safe so let me put this one and uh, it needs the character set we have us ascii so that's just a character set and let me close this that's good so so the token is generated now so we have to store this token inside the uh, db right so well, let me create the email confirmation token object so this is going to be new email confirmation token and let me set this token first it's a token and this is going to be token value and we'll also set when it is generated timestamp local timestamp dot now and yep there we go and then we'll set the user object set user of user we, we have the user uh, in place here and uh, let me save this so for this we need the 
new repository tied in here so let me say private final email confirmation token repository so let me add it to the constructor so this will save the token into our DB so now we have to implement uh, email so for this let me create a service that will um, you know uh, send an email so let me create a new service email service add so this is going to send confirmation email and this is going to accept the token uh, let me see this is going to accept the email uh, confirmation token right so that's an object that is needed and this is going to it's not going to send anything back and this is going to be email confirmation token let me implement this here and let me implement this So let's use the Java Center API, Java um, Mail Center API for that private. This is going to be used to send the email. So we are going to make use of uh, message type MME uh, we, because we are going to create a HTML message. Right. So let me create that here. ME message. say equal sender dot get uh, create my message so this will create a my message for us and then uh, let me use the helper class of my message helper so that will set all the parameters for us so new my message helper message and uh, it's going to be a mul if it is multi part let's say it is as true so there is an unheld exception so we'll add that exception and we'll also add to the uh, interface signature as well and helper dot uh, set two and two is going to come from email confirmation dot get user dot get get username so this is going to be the two and so it's set subject and the subject okay this is going to be the subject and i'll set helper dot set text so i will say a text like this i'll just copy paste the text i have so this is going to be a HTML. I'm going to paste the HTML here. Uh, just a dear user, we are excited to get you started. Um, please click uh, the link below to confirm. So the, uh, we need, we'll create this method here. And at the end, I uh, mentioned that it is an HTML. So that is sent to and let's hit sender dot dot send message. So the helper, so the, the use of helper, the helper will set all the details to the uh, message right so that is what the helpers here so let me create the method or action right so now uh, this is returning you the token so let me get the token here from email dot get token will send you the email with these details so let's head over to our application yaml where we'll configure our uh, uh, mail details so for this what you have to do is you have to go to your uh, gmail click on manage account so once you are here click on security and here just select two factors two step uh, verification and put your password once you are here you can see at the bottom there is a password so you can click here and click add your add your um, application name and create so it will create you know, the password so i have already created one for the, our application so that password is i've already given in our application 
right all these parameters are required to make sure that you have this parameter in your application properties right so we need to call that method so we'll say we'll in inject that first private final email service email email service and this is going to be into the constructor. Let me copy this. Dot send confirmation email token. So we need to add the method signature. Yes. And further, we have to call this right here. This dot send registration confirmation and send the user detail right here yep so that's all it is like now we we'll, let me restart the server and see whether it sends the email for the meanwhile let me delete the user application is up let me refresh there we go. Okay, my inbox. See here, confirm email MFA application registration, and it had sent me an email, and uh, this is all working fine. So upon clicking this, uh, if you if you look at here, uh, it's showing the confirmation email uh, link. So let's implement. So let's go to controller and uh, implement confirmation email so this is going to be our code so what it does is it is going to get the token in the parameter and it is going to verify so this method let us implement that here now so this is going to uh, get the token from the DB type email Verification information token equals email from repository dot find by token. Let me pass in the token. So this should give uh, the token. If the token is valid, then we will. Um, if it is not valid, then we will just return the token is not valid. It'll throw an exception, and this is. Uh, when the token is not valid, we'll return the invalid token exception. Else, what we are going to do is we are going to find the user. Uh, we are going to get the user from the um, email confirmation token, and uh, that is going to be user user equals email confirmation token dot get user. And uh, we will. What we are going to do is, okay, we are going to update uh, set user dot set. Uh, there is no method. There is no parameter that we can set it as verified. Right. So let me set it as private. And we can go back to the method again. We can go back here. Set account verified equals true. And we can persist this user repository dot save user and return true. And um, and one more step here we forgot is we have to remove the token right email confirmation token repository dot call. So we'll uh, we have we have the entity right the email confirmation entity so we can pass that here. So now it should delete the record. Let me delete this guys here. Um, let me go to the user. Let me delete and we'll restart the registration. Back register again. Get the details. Register. There we go. And we got the email. Let me click on this email. So now your email has been verified successfully and go back to mongodb refresh the user the account verified is true now and uh, we should not see 
that token for the respective user so you, here the user number ends with 9e4 but here it is 66e so the email token also has been deleted successfully so that's it um, hope you like this video if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and do share thank you